Now let's talk about Iran. The UN Atomic Watchdog has released its report. Now this came after Rafael Grossi's visit to Iran's nuclear powers. Western nations are getting ready for another round of sanctions on Iran. Tehran on the other side says if it is sanctioned, it will not cooperate with the IAEA. We tell you more in this report. Iran's growing nuclear capabilities have long been a subject of concern and intense scrutiny for the West. Iran closed off negotiations on its enriched uranium after the failure of its 2015 nuclear talks with the P5 plus 1 group of nations, primarily the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France and China. Since then, Tehran has kept Washington and the International Atomic Energy Agency guessing about its nuclear plans. After the snap presidential polls in July, Iranians voted for a reformist president, Masoud Pazeshkian. In his brief campaign, Pazeshkian said he will negotiate directly with the United States to end the sanctions that have taken a major toll on Iran's economy. Pazeshkian's election gave rise to new prospects. The UN atomic watchdog even paid a visit to Tehran this month. The IAEA chief visited the Natanz nuclear plant and the Fordo enrichment site, dug into a mountain around 100 kilometers south of the capital of Tehran. For the first time, the UN atomic watchdog chief met the newly elected Iranian president, Masoud Pazeshkian. The president told Grossi that his government is prepared to cooperate with the IAEA to clear up alleged ambiguities about Tehran's nuclear work. Iranian Foreign Minister Abbas Arakchi warned Grossi that Iran is willing to sort out differences over its nuclear program, but it will not succumb to any pressure or intimidation. Any interventionist resolution in the nuclear affairs of the Islamic Republic of Iran will certainly be faced with resolute reciprocal actions and will not give them permission to use this type of pressure, which they have experienced for years and realize that we will not succumb to those pressures and we will continue our program within the framework of our national interests and the Islamic Republic of Iran's national security. After Grossi's visit to the Islamic Republic, the UN Atomic Watchdog released a confidential report claiming that Iran has taken steps to halt expansion of its stockpile of highly enriched uranium. And I made a request um, uh, for uh, Iran to um, stop increasing the, the um, stockpile of 60% uh, and this was uh, accepted by Iran, which uh, took initial steps, as it is indicated in my report, which could be verified on Saturday by our um, inspectors. So uh, of course, uh, there are important discussions now at the board. We will see what happens. But this is what we agreed, and I hope this will hold. Hmm? We will see. Uh, but I think uh, this is a very, very important development indeed. The IAEA report also noted that Iran's stockpile limit was 32 times more than the limit set by world powers in 2015. The stockpile is estimated at over 6,600 kilograms till October 26, up 852.6 kilos from the last quarterly report in August. According to the IAEA, Tehran is the only non-nuclear weapon state to enrich uranium to 60% a short step from the 90% level needed for atomic weapons. Iran has always denied seeking a nuclear weapon. European powers and the United States are moving ahead with a plan to censure Iran for its poor cooperation with the UN nuclear watchdog. Iran has warned the West that this move will affect its relations with the IAEA. Relations between Tehran and the IAEA soured over several long-standing issues including Iran barring the agency experts from the country and its failure to explain uranium trace at undeclared sites.